Over the past few months, we've seen several Galaxy smartphones, including those running Android 15, show up on the Geekbench benchmark site. Now we can add another one to the list, the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, which has recently appeared in multiple Geekbench entries with Android 15 on board. The Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is now joining its siblings, the Galaxy S21, Galaxy S21 Plus, and Galaxy S21 Ultra all of which had already been spotted on the Geekbench database running Android 15 and One UI 7.0 before the Fan Edition model made its appearance. This lineup is gradually shaping up to fully embrace the latest Android update, with each device now gearing up to offer users the new features and enhancements that come with Android 15 and Samsung's updated One UI. Although Samsung is testing Android 15 and One UI 7.0 on all Galaxy S21 models, it's likely that the update will first roll out to the base Plus and Ultra models with the Fan Edition model following a few days later. But this is just speculation. We can't be certain about Samsung's exact release schedule for Android 15 and One UI 7.0. As usual, when Samsung is ready to roll out the next major Android and One UI upgrade, more recent devices will get priority. If you're curious, Android 15 will be available for beta testing on select Galaxy smartphones before the final version is released. The Galaxy S21 series will probably be included in this beta, although it's likely that only the non-fan edition models will have access. Here's why the One UI 7 beta update is taking its sweet time, get ready for some insider details. The One UI 7.0 beta update was initially set for a July release but got delayed. It was then expected to roll out by late August, but that didn't happen either, as Samsung opted to hold off until more bugs were fixed. Interestingly, Samsung isn't the only one pushing back its next big update. Google has also delayed the release of the stable Android 15 update for Pixel devices. Many were hoping for the stable Android 15 update to drop next month, but that's not going to happen, according to a report from Android Authority. The report suggests that Google won't release the stable update for Pixel smartphones and tablets in September as expected. Instead, the update is now planned for October 2024. This timing would match up with the release of Android 14 last year, which also happened in October 2023. Since Google launched its new Pixel devices two months earlier this year, they weren't able to roll out a new Android version alongside the latest phones. If Google is taking its time, it makes sense for Samsung to ensure a smooth rollout as well. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.